It's time for five more amazing macro subject ideas that you guys can try out easily at home. These are all things that I've shot over the past 12 months or so, so hopefully they'll provide some good inspiration for you guys over the next year or so. If this is something that you do want to try out, we have full tutorials on everything that you're about to see, and I'll link to those as we go along in the top right-hand corner of your screen and down in the description. As we do go along, let me know down in the comments if it's something that you want to try. But without any further ado, let's get started with number one. First up, we have iris photography, and this is particularly popular at the moment. In fact, we're seeing all sorts of shops and studios setting up in cities all around the world, specifically to capture that beautiful color and detail within everybody's eye. And of course, every eye is unique. However, it's just as easy to capture this at home as it is in a professional studio. There's simply a case of what kind of lighting you need to use and the very particular method that you need to use to avoid uh, the reflections on the iris itself. Now this can be achieved in just a few minutes with your own family members so I definitely recommend uh, taking a time to have a look at our tutorial and try this out on your own at home. The key here is removing that reflection so if you're keen to find out how that's done hit the link in the description. Next up we've got coiled wire. Now this is not the most obvious macro subject that you might think of at home, but most people do have some sort of coiled wire, be it from uh, a telephone or maybe some USB wires, and it's these coils that make for some really interesting abstract shots. We can place some colourful light down into the coil and it will glow out from the insides. It can create some really fantastic abstract shots that look like sci-fi spaceships ships or uh, some sort of organic structures depending on the color that you use and there's a lot of variety to be had here in the placement of your coils and the different colors of light that you choose. Next up we've got a fantastic one for the videographers out there. This is ink in water. Now there's a few different ways to go about this but essentially we're squirting different colored inks into some water and capturing that mixing and colliding of the two clouds of ink. As you can see here I've chosen to mirror those clouds as well just to make it look that little bit more weird and abstract but no matter how you choose to do this uh, those colors mixing together and uh, colliding can create some really mesmerizing effects in video and particularly in slow motion as well. Uh, you do need a large fish tank, so go shopping for something that can hold a lot of water. Next up, we've got another beautiful abstract shoot that's really easy to try at home, and that is ice, ice cubes to be exact. And uh, you can grab these straight out of the freezer and go exploring along the surfaces of the ice to find all of the interesting textures. The images that you come out with are really, really fantastic and fantastically unique as well. Especially when you add some colored light into the mix, you can get really abstract. You can see here that we've got lots of color shining through the ice itself and being able to explore around the surface and the inside of the ice with all of that color shining through can create some really cool images. And finally for my favorite shoot that I did last year toy cars. This is a really fun way to set up uh, for an afternoon of shooting to create some images that look realistic. All you need is some toy cars, there's some die cast models out there that have a lot of detail and you need some surfaces and a backdrop. For our backdrop we were using just an iPad with a photo and some lighting to make it look realistic and match the lighting on the car to the lighting in the background. The editing process is really simple when you get that lighting right, so you can easily spend an afternoon shooting and not an afternoon on the computer. 
Remember that every image that you've seen today has a tutorial that goes along with it with a full explanation of how to achieve these images and there's a lot more on our channel from the many years of shooting that we've done from watches through to food photography. So do check out our channel and make sure to hit the subscribe button for lots more macro photography tutorials, ideas and inspiration coming in the future. Thank you.